Here's the deal, man. All the MCW superstars from where are just one big family. I mean, a great group of guys. These are my brothers. We're more like my kids because I'm a little older. But um, I love them like brothers. I love them like kids. And uh, it's the experience is unbelievable, man. The things we get to do on the road is just something you can't do in a normal life. You know, going to visit children's hospitals, making a kid's day. I mean, those are paychecks, you know, you can't get, you know, uh, you can be a millionaire and you still can't do what we do. So, uh, it's, it's the greatest job in the world, bro, being on the road. These guys are a trip. They are fun guys to be around. The stories that they could tell you are completely unbelievable, but we all know they're true. Just, it's a weird life, but it's a fun life. Your day started at 8 o'clock, ended at 2 in the morning. So you and you had back-to-back -back shows, you're lucky if you got six hours sleep going like this on a bus or a van. My favorite thing is the fact that I'm out there entertaining the fans, you know, with all my brothers, and it's, it's great, you know. The crowd loves it. They interact with us. You know, we have a great time. You know, and because here's the deal, when I go out there, I gotta set the tone for the show. I'm just the opening hello. These guys are the stars. They're the superstars. They didn't come to see me. They're just waiting for me to get, get out of the way so they can see the you know the real stars of the show, the MCW superstars. So I try to get in and out of there as quick as possible, do my job so I can put you know all the shine on them because like I said, they are the stars of the show and uh, that's what the people want to see, the stars of the show. Honestly, WWE using us as a comedy act is a letdown. They pull guys in, like a couple of the guys that are a part of MCW have been a part of those comedy acts in WWE, and they don't get to showcase their actual talents, and it's pathetic. If they want us to go out there and be comedians, maybe they should hire comedians to do it. There are midget comedians out there. If they want us to go out there and put a show on, basically steal their show, hire two midget wrestlers. Two guys that know what they're doing, put us on first of the night, and then we'll sit back and laugh at the rest of their card. start chanting your name or when they start chanting this is awesome during the match then you know you got them right there in the palm of your hand which is awesome and I'm, I'm not tapping my guys in the back but my guys are just the best there is going out there and entertaining the fans you know it's not about money it's about doing what you love and putting a smile on people's face We've never really seen it before. Okay. My wife asked me to come and we, would, we really enjoyed it. <laughs> awesome. And I was totally amazed that it won me over. I came not for aspects of them being small people, I came to see really good wrestling. Uh, 
I am Libby. Kayla! We are the Jacksons from the team. Kayla, Jackson, and Emily. <laughs> what was your favorite part of the show tonight? It was awesome! What was the best part? Who was your favorite? Who was your favorite? So what was the coolest moment of the show though? Yes, the butt in the face. The ass in the face, the butt crack rubbed in the face with the purple underwear. It had to be the best part of the whole show. Would you come back? Yes, I would. Uh -huh. Probably meatball. Meatball? I like cowboy in the <laughs> Thank you guys. Would you guys come again? Sure. Yeah. The show was great. Uh, everything about it was good. The excitement was good. The hype was good. The music was good. Uh, the entertainers were good. There's not one star. Each guy has a part to play. Each guy is such an important part of that storyline. And if it doesn't work like that, flow together, you don't get the perfect story. So each guy knows they might have to swallow their ego once in a while, you know, and do what's best for the team. And thank God I have the best mid wrestlers in the world today because they understand that concept. El Paso, Texas. We had over 5,500 people there. We were taking pictures and signing autographs for, I think, almost three hours after the show. We sucked it up because the fans are what make us. Every, every picture got taken that wanted to be taken. Every autograph got signed that wanted to be signed. Winning that belt was, yeah, it, the sacrifice, the hard work, the pain, everything. It made every bit of it worth it. Every instance of it worth it. And it showed me, hey, you still got something left? Keep pushing. Because the real reason you're doing this is for your family back home. Girls, rest. Oh, okay. That's what we want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fun.